you'll be again. Thank you very much if you're following my cancer story. Um, the reason I'm doing these vlogs is to raise awareness of one of the rarer forms of cancer, which I was diagnosed with last week, and that's vulval cancer. Um, I firstly want to say a massive thank you to everyone, so friends, family, colleagues, that have sent me messages, texts, flowers, um, your words of um, encouragement, your, your, your lovely words, you know, it has really humbled me. I want to thank you from the very bottom of my heart. You will not know what a boost that has been to me over the past week, reading your lovely messages. I have my up days and down days. Um, I've already been off of work sick for a month already due to the rash that I have. Um, just to update you on that, I now have a new rash on the existing rash. Doctors still don't know what it is. Um, obviously, the stress of what's going on hasn't helped. Um, but the surgeon said that she will biopsy the rash when um, have, I have my operation. Without going to work every day, I've kind of lost a routine and I find that mornings tend to be worse for me. So I've kicked myself up the behind and made sure that I get up, I shower, I get dressed and then I try and find things to do. As you can see behind me, I've put up the Christmas tree and the next job will be writing Christmas cards and wrapping presents before um, I go in for my operation. So things like that keep me occupied as well as reading your messages. Today is a good day and in particular because I had a surprise phone call this morning from the hospital. My CT scan results are back and this, the cancer has not spread anywhere else. So it is just located at the vulva. So that's really good news that it's not spread anywhere else. Um, so it just waits for the operation on the day for the surgeon to get in and see um, how large the mass goes in and then send it off for the histology and that will determine whether or not I need to have any of the lymph nodes removed from my groin at a further date. The next step in the journey is Saturday. Um, I have to go for a COVID test and then we have to self-isolate um, for a period after I've had the operation as well. So that's me kind of housebound really from now until New Year, but that's fine. They also told me that Pete won't be able to visit me in hospital. I did have a little cry over that, um, but I totally understand the reason, you know, the government's rules are changing over COVID and hospitals are full of sick people, you know, immune systems are lower. I understand that they don't want people who don't need to be there to be there. So I'll just have to make sure that I get out really quick. I've been packing my suitcase ready for the big day. The one good positive out of this is I spent some money and I've bought myself new pyjamas and a dressing gown and some new slippers. Sounds silly, but it's made me happy. So that's it for now. Um, I will give you another up update before my operation on the 14th, but um, at the moment feeling chipper and very lucky to have a CT scan that says there's no spread of the cancer. Thank you ever so much for your support and following. See you soon. Bye.